So now we're going to look at a mat pass. So we're going back to our master layer. And the mat pass allows us, some people call this an ID pass, but it allows us to isolate specific parts of the geometry. So if I want to change the color of FAA only, and I didn't want to affect the background, if I was in Photoshop, I would have to go in here and mask this out. But by rendering out a matte pass, I will have the alpha channel ready for me. So we select this geometry, create a new layer like usual. And we now open up our attribute editor right here. And again, we have those same overrides and options, but we're just going to play with the presets. And there's a geometry mat. And when we render out this mat pass, we actually don't need to worry about our occlusion, key light, or beauty. And you notice that now it changed from being mental ray, which we use for occlusion, to software. And this is going to allow us to render out extremely fast. So it was less than a second. It was almost instantaneous. And you can see that I have both the alpha channel and a luminance, so a black and white um, matte. And this can be used to isolate the FAA later in compositing. So after this, we will move on to a depth.